building, and everything. But we're going to be wearing to <laughs> actually getting our wings and raising the banner. It's going to be amazing. Man. Hopefully, we, we uh, come out and handle business on the basketball court. Steve said it's a little tricky right now to know what the rotations look like. You guys are so used to having. I mean, we pretty much got the same core guys together. I think Coach wants to uh, definitely mix and uh, match some guys and figure some stuff out. And I think that's what uh, you know the regular season is for is to kind of obviously you want to play a good brand of ball every time you step out, but you also trying some stuff, seeing how deep your rotation is, and, you know, because we were preparing for the playoffs. And I think a lot of teams are doing the same. Um, you know, but we trust Coach's uh, adjustments and. You know, anything that uh, he throws at us, we try to handle as best as possible. Seems like he's trying to limit the small moment. No, not really. I think he's, uh, like I said, just experimenting with a lot of stuff. Obviously, Draymond was out for a couple games for preseason, so we want to, you know, scale him back a little bit to start the season. You know, we got uh, the older guys, Sean and Andre, who we want to, you know, watch out for their minutes as well. And we got some young guys that. You know, I want to play too, so I think it's hard for a coach to figure that stuff out so early. And, you know, but we're riding with him, and you know, we uh, we're gonna try to make adjustments as uh, best we can as players in the floor. No, uh, we mean is there a difference in those minutes? Oh uh, no, no, I think the game is still fast. I think there are a lot of bigs that. Uh, I'd like to bang down a lot, but I think it's physicality out, out on the wings as well with the guards, you know, especially with as much movement as we have. The team's looking to get into us and push us off our cut. So it's physicality. We can't run from it out there on the basketball court. And uh, I think Steph is probably feeling it a little bit after a few games play. All the wing players along with the big guys. Uh, I just think um, they allow you know, younger guys, I think Jeremy Grant is going to step up and play a huge role for them. Um, you know, playing out somebody that's as good as Melo, it, it provides an opportunity for someone else. And um, you know, they signed Jer uh, Jeremy Grant for a reason. I think he's going to be a, he's the prototypical four man, um, you know, for a team like Thunder. Also having Patterson as well to kind of get different mix of players. So I think guys just going to step up. Yeah, I mean, when Steph is out, I mean, I, I mean, I just I don't look at it as he got worse as a player or he didn't develop. I feel like his his mind is always moving. So when he's not playing the game, he's thinking the game. And I think that's gotten him better. Especially uh, last season when he went down with the knee injury, he thought that he's, when he came back, he was taking the game on a different level. And um, just now, we had that mindset going into the summer. I think the workouts could be a lot better. So I just don't, I don't see a huge change because it's always he's always been a leap to me um, and special. So, um, but I just think he's focused and locked in, and you know, taking care of what he needs to take care of, like a like a seasoned veteran does. And, um, it's just, I guess I just look at him in such a, I give him such high expectations. I never really looked at him as, you know, falling down because he got, you know, injured or didn't play. I just always feel like he's a leader. Kevin, how do you guys, you guys work then, DJ, JV? How, the transition from the veteran guy, David, and I mean, how's that going for you? And the middle guy still see that play? I think D-West did such a great job of, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, Coming out here and setting a great example, you know, you see guys like Moon and DJ, um, you know, JB kind of following after that model. And I think the way D West played was obviously different. Um, you know, being able to play, play through the post, make those passes, and shoot the mid range. Um, but I think uh, you know, Moon and the rest of the bigs took a little bit of the tricks from D West, along with Zaza, along with Draymond. Just trying to uh, you know be there for us in that position, and I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing how they play. Kevin, excluding Draymond, you know you and the rest of the starters seem to really hit the ground running this preseason. I know it's only preseason, but how confident does that make you guys moving in the first game of the regular season, knowing that hey we're in a groove and 
kind of have you know a few underneath us before the season begins? Oh, it's just good to get uh, you know conditioning up and getting in game shape. And, you know, we know exactly uh, what we need to do as a team and how we need to be successful each possession. And uh, it's a matter of us, you know, staying healthy, staying on the court. Everybody works extremely hard at their games individually, so um, it's most so about just, uh, just staying healthy. It's been great for us. I think uh, having some new energy, fresh energy in the building, um, and not just the markets. We got a whole new training staff. We got you know some people, some new faces around, just working for the team. And, uh, I think that's uh, that's good for players to see you know something fresh and new coming into the facility. And, so we work, we work extremely hard in the preseason. I think guys, you know, man, got a little thing up here and there, you know, the wear and tear, but it's, I don't think it's anything too serious. And as far as the defense goes, you know, we, we're, I feel like we're working in segments. We work in segments throughout uh, preseason, and you know, we're gonna focus on a certain part of defense one time. Now we just got to bring it all together. Uh, coach is really good at making adjustments for that. Well, it's just a show. I mean, you usually come into the game, get your pre-game working, get ready for the game, and once you run out to the floor, I mean, it's just like, yeah, 15 minutes to get to before the game starts. But on rain night, it's usually, you know, you got some, go out to the floor, you might come back and get introduced, and, you know, it just takes the, it's just a distraction from the game itself. You know, it's a great distraction, don't get me wrong, but uh, when you're trying to play a basketball game, right before, you got to focus on something else. It tends to throw you off a bit, but, Especially if you experienced it more than once, I think guys are, you know, kind of know what's coming and be ready for the moment. Kevin, Swedish television? Thank you. Uh, you got a new guy, the first Swede in the team, Julius yes. Edepko. What do you think about him and what do you expect of him in uh, your team? I'm excited about Jonas. Uh, he just knows how to play the game. Um, somebody that can stretch the floor for us. Uh, just playing extremely hard on the defensive side of the ball, man. He can switch out on different players. So um, I'm excited, you know, to have him on, his on our team. I've known Jonas since, you know, I was coming out of college. And, you know, so the had this come kind of full circle a little bit and him to be on our team is pretty sweet. What do you think about him in the rotation? Uh, I like him in the rotation. Like I said, a big body that can guard multiple positions and shoot the three. Uh, he just knows how to play. That was the type of guy we used to uh, lean on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't really know too much that goes into it. I mean, I love Pat as a teammate, as a, as a, as a friend, as a brother. So um, I just hope everything works out for him and uh, gets back on the court. And, 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 you know, the business side of this stuff, you know, I really don't know too much about it to, to dive deep into it. But um, I definitely miss Pat. I miss seeing him every day and miss being around. And, um, I just, but I just hope that everything works out for him. you have to touch base with him or anything? Or you kind of just let him be? Yeah, man. I mean, when it comes to those those type of deals, you try to, I try to stay out of it, you know. Um, just because I don't want to, I want to make signals. I'm here to support him as a person or as more than anything. That's the only thing that matters to me. So, as long as he's in, uh, everything is good with him, man, I'm straight. Have you mentioned, you've been through the whole ring light stuff before. How do you balance appreciating the moment and, you know, kind of enjoying what you did in the past while also preparing for a game? Yeah, you just try to, uh, it's got to be an even balance, I guess, you know, it's just uh, quick. I mean, I think that's that's probably the last time we'll celebrate, uh, you know, I open like that, celebrate a championship, uh, you know, because it's a new season. So I guess that's just like the final final piece of the, the puzzle and um, so it'd be, be good to kind of get it out the way and focus on the next season but we got to kind of lock back in really quick and uh, we got a lot of smart high IQ players a lot of geniuses on this team that it's not back really quick. Are you looking forward to seeing Russ tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. How was that relationship? I know you haven't really talked much about it but how has that been since you know you've caught for a little bit but can you talk to on that now? Does it really matter? I mean some people it does. Nah I mean that's between me and him. 
Okay. The basketball okay. relationship, I got nothing to respect for what he does, but that, we'll keep that between him and I. Tell me, can we have one more question? Down the last week or so, to focus on getting back to the plane. Man, I mean, preseason, and you definitely want to play better defense and do really, uh, more focus. I think, um, you know, once we get into more game plan, this is kind of how we're going to take away, you know, certain action, what we're going to do with this player. And once we got a rotation down, guys get more comfortable um, out there on the defensive side. But I think we put us some great principles. Um, we work extremely hard on being there for each other every single day. But like I said, we just got to put it all together now. And, uh, you know, we work with pick and roll defense. And, Post up defense, and split action defense, and I think you know we spent a couple of preseason games just worrying about those one, those different parts, and now it's about you know bringing it all together and finishing the defensive possession. Talk about how tough the West was last year. It's going to be tough again this year. I mean, as a fan or as a competitor, I mean, you follow these things, what teams are doing, what have you seen out there, and what are you looking forward to in terms of what you're going to face in this conference? Well, you just know it's tough. You got respect for every team, and you know uh, a lot of teams uh, have gotten better over the summer. And uh, you know, I just see the different teams playing different ways, playing faster. You know, switching the lineups up, putting five wing players out on the floor, which is always tough for anybody to guard and to score against. So I just think the game is getting more and more advanced. You guys are innovating more as coaches and putting their players in great positions, and I think it's just beautiful for the game. Over in England, uh, hi. Over in England today, actually, Sky Sports, which is in front of the Fox Sports here, signed a deal for the NBA for the next four years on TV and online. Our first game is your game tomorrow. Nice. Now, Miss Cameron here, can we just welcome Sky Sports fans to the NBA? Everybody uh, that watches Sky Sports, welcome to the show. We're going to enjoy it. I'm hungry to see I'm excited about that, you know, because I remember when Steven took over for Burke when he was a, a young player, and his excitement coming into the season, um, you can kind of see it without him saying anything, and I, it's the same feel I have with DJ. They're totally different players, but I think the circumstances and the situation are probably about the same. Stepping in with a successful group of guys and having them kind of accelerate your growth a little bit. So I've seen him with Steven as a center and look where he turned out. So. I think that experience is going to be great for DJ and we're looking forward to uh, you know, helping him as much as possible and I know he's going to do a great job for us. <laughs> that he's ready, he's ready for uh, opportunity and challenge that he's open um, to learning about you know, just what meaningful basketball is at this level um, and playing with some great players. And you know he's just he's a server, man. He always wants to be there for us. Always wants to you know, set screens for us and roll, to be at the rim for us for a block. So guys like that that enjoy doing the little things, you know, uh, that makes for an amazing team. Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir.